What's up, guys? Today we're going to be talking about drugs, a most trending topic, and for COVID-19, too. So today, we're going to be talking about why drugs are bad. Although some can be good, it's best to avoid them at all costs. So you know that you can die well, with drugs. You know, Michael Jackson, who took an overdose that, of drugs that would help him sleep. I don't know the drug name. You're going to have to go to Wikipedia and search that. But anyway, there's a lot of drugs out there. There's some good ones, like marijuana. And there's some bad ones, like cocaine and, you know, everything bad. And I want to tell you guys that it's never okay to take drugs. Unless your doctor prescribes them to you, and if you need them. So if you, like, take prescription drugs, that'd be fine as long as they're prescribed to you. But if you take an overdose, like... Even if you have a prescription for these, it's best to take the recommended amount. So if you're supposed to take two, do not take a whole handful and just shove it in your mouth and swallow it. That's called an overdose, and you can die out of it. And the same thing goes with alcohol, too. Some people are thinking alcohol is a drug. I don't know if it is. It goes on alcohol. And even if it's... It's best to take everything in moderation. Now, if it's something like legal, like if it's grown, on, like if it's grown, like marijuana, and I think cocaine is now grown. If it's a drug that does not have all those nasty chemicals in it, it'd be a good drug, but still take it in moderation. You don't want to take too much marijuana; you'll get high. And people who are high have bad times. Even if you're drunk or something, like, if you're drunk and you're driving, you're putting everybody in danger. That's why it's illegal to be to do drunk driving. So, like, if you're drunk and you're driving a car, eventually, you're actually too drunk to know what you're doing, then you're, and you're in, you could probably get, end up killing an entire town and yourself. You're putting yourself in risk and the people around you. So if you're drunk, I recommend you just, I recommend you have at least a partner with you, mostly one that doesn't drink. That way, if you're drunk, that means the person who's not drunk, the one with you, can actually drive you home. So do, do not ask Siri to do it. Siri is not a good choice for that. Also, we're going to be looking at a little topic in my book here. So let's, I'm going to head on over to chapter 12. If I can get to it. Alright, here we are. There's a little section about about drugs in this book. There's another one called nicotine. According to the book, nicotine is a substance in cigarettes that can make you sick. Yes. Again, with nicotine, it's most of that stuff that's made in cigarettes. Unless you have marijuana and you make cigarettes out of marijuana. Most, most cigarettes and vapes contain nicotine, and it's an addictive chemical. And guess what? If you read those, if you watch those ads online, some people don't, it says that nicotine, nicotine can reprogram your brain. So all you can think about is your next cigarette. So yeah, nicotine is bad. Bad, bad, bad. It can even give you mood swings and all that. So if you see ads about nicotine and all that, you should follow those ads. Please, follow those ads. They can be helpful. Although there's some not helpful. I found a stupid one on, on yesterday. It was about Trumpy Bear. I would not, I'm not going to talk about Trumpy Bear a lot. Anyway, there's a lot of things you could try. Do not try drugs. Drugs are bad. Okay? So there's a lot of things. There's a lot of drugs that are bad. Some are good, like grown underground. I don't think cocaine is bad. It used to be what, um, cocaine is what, you know, it's, it was what, it was what Coca-Cola used to be made of. Not anymore. It's now illegal to put that in soda. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's a lot more health wolf coming up. Anyway, please follow my advice on do not take drugs. Alright, adios.